What's good YouTube man, it's your boy Young Dump coming at y'all with another video here. Uh, I've been waiting on these two little pieces for a hot little minute. Um, just doing an update on the channel, y'all know the deal. Uh, like I said, anything that I got that comes in uh, pertaining to my build, I'll go ahead and do an update on it. And I uh, finally got these in. Uh, I'll show you the label here. These came in from Toolmaker. I've uh, been waiting on these for a little bit, I guess, whoever... Um, Owns Toolmaker or runs Toolmaker has been out of the office for a little bit. Uh, so I ordered these. Might have been last month at this point. Uh, but I just remember whoever, when I went over to the website, uh, it's just like whatever you order, Toolmaker won't be in the office until September 3rd, which was Labor Day. Uh, so I went ahead, since I got two of these Pioneer amps for my highs this year, I went ahead and uh, ordered these... Um, I think they're uh, zero to four gauge reducers, man. Let me open these up because I know um, basically what I want to do since I got so many power runs and uh, ground runs going for amps, I wanted to get these in and make sure that um, no matter whether the amp was for the highs or the lows, uh, it wasn't going to start for current. And these things came packaged in the little white envelope that y'all just seen and uh, wrapped real good and these uh, bubble wraps along with the tape here. Uh, so let me get this open and take a look at these uh, tool maker inputs. All right, let me get these out of here. All right, so y'all see them. Uh, dual zero gauge uh, inputs uh, to four gauge uh, reducers, basically. Uh, dual, dual zero gauge inputs for uh, four gauge and they're offset let me pull those up over there all right so there you can see them they're offset uh, so basically what I'm gonna do with all the um, power runs that I got uh, for these I was doing four gauge uh, but I think um, even if I go ahead and use a four gauge obviously I'll do two runs on that uh, depending on how much zero gauge I got left over I'll probably I'll probably end up using that to be honest with you but let me slide this amp forward and just stick that in there make sure that she's good to go and as far as the power size, she uh, she fits perfectly fine. Let me tighten that down. All right, so, uh, not really tighten it to the point to where it's going to go for installation, but um, yeah, that's coming through. Y'all see that there, where it's um, able to go into the amp, and like I said, they are offset, so uh, no matter what it being on the power or the ground side, everything should be good to go. Now this, uh, let me see if y'all can see the amp foot, uh, the mounting foot right there. For the ground, uh, it's kind of going in a little sideways, but I don't think that'll be an issue. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to tighten this down, too. Right, move this one out the way. So, y'all can see it there. Uh, the ground ain't too pretty. Uh, it's kind of going sideways, so that... Um, <laughs> it ain't pretty, man, but I, I think I'll probably still end up using it. Get that up, yeah, so that's, I don't know, man. I, I think I'm gonna still end up using it just to make sure that uh, the amp is getting the proper current and everything like that. So we'll take a look at it and go from there, man. But so far it looks pretty decent. Um, definitely for just making sure, like I said, the main thing, I just wanna make sure that the amps are getting the proper current and things of that nature. So we'll go from there, man. But I uh, got two of these in since I got two of the Pioneer amps. Uh, I'm not going to open this one until I get ready to install the other Pioneer amp over there. So um, hopefully I'll get everything moving forward. That's best. I, I ain't going to make no more promises as far as doing installation and things like that, man. Because it always seems like something comes up or uh, maybe I'm just being lazy. That's just me keeping it all the way 100, man. I, sometimes I'm like, all right, let me go ahead and get everything up and going and get it done the whole nine. And then it's days were like yesterday uh college football I forgot i was i said i was gonna go ahead and run my wires and install them on saturday but i forgot about uh college football of course i'm in nebraska we go for the huskers those idiots decide to give the game away to colorado man so that kind of pissed me off man but um at least i always got car audio to fall back on to get something done so uh all i can do is just go ahead and uh <clears throat> make sure that i get everything done based on my schedule when i have free time so um the updates will keep coming anything that i do as far as when i have free time and things like that i'll keep i'll keep everybody posted 
keep recording the videos and go from there, man. So, uh, apologize on the installation video. I know I really wanted to do that yesterday, man, but I had the free time and just kind of got lazy and just, I guess I wanted to catch up on some TV as well. So we'll get everything going. Uh, finally got my tool maker inputs. Uh, not really feeling that the way that's, I know y'all can see it on camera. I'm not really feeling that the way that's sitting sideways, but I'm definitely not about to cut off a mounting foot on the amp just to make that thing fit. So we'll take a look at that at another at a later date and see what I can do to uh, maybe fix that. Maybe I can switch these around and flip them out. I'll, I'll see what's up, man. But we'll go from there and making sure that everything goes into the amp in a safe, protective mode and uh, make sure she's squared away. But definitely want to do uh, dual runs in her on um, both amps and get them up. Make sure everything's loud and crystal clear. Uh, getting the best current that it can get and uh, making sure we do that for the highs, the mids uh the base and everything else man so any questions comments concerns uh yeah i know i like to reply to every comment that you put on the channel man uh subscribe to the channel share the videos man everybody who is subscribed i definitely appreciate it man more updates coming soon um like i said everything that i do or post up or that i receive uh, as far as pertaining to the build i'll definitely go ahead and post those videos man it's your boy young dub y'all have a good night i'm out